Hello, hello everyone. This is Tina with Amberfield Mouse Jewelry. I have a couple of genuine caught in the well jewelry jars that we're gonna open today. If this is your first time joining me, hello, my game is my name is Tina. I can't speak apparently, but my name is Tina. And if you're coming back to join me again, hi, I'm glad you're back. Um, we're gonna have some fun again today. These two jars I had purchased at um, an antique slash thrift store in the beginning of um, beginning end of fall I don't know whenever I bought the tooth fairies jewelry box that was the same trip I got these and they've been sitting here and I thought we might just get these opened and uh, see what's inside I have peeked inside here and there but haven't dumped them so give me a second I'm gonna peel off this tape and oh, oh I was gonna say it's coming off really easy but it's not well how many layers did they put Anyway, I hope everyone has had a great New Year's. I um, hope that this is going to be a great year for everyone. I'm looking forward to it. I actually am off this next week, and I cannot tell you how excited I am. I am going to declutter. Declutter, declutter, declutter. Um, the clutter in this house is out of control, and I'm about to go postal on it all and just... I told Jeff we need to just get them to bring one of those big construction dumpsters and I will fill it. Um, I don't think he's going to let me do that, but we'll see. All right. I'm so sorry. This has taken a bit to get this off. This jar was purchased in Northern Virginia and same area where I bought that. Um, looks like a hardware organizer that was a Tooth Fairy jewelry jar. If you've not watched that one, go pop back and, and have a watch. It was a lot of vintage stuff in there. There wasn't a whole whole lot of resellable jewelry in there, but I did learn a lot and it was fun. And we got a bunch of teeth, which was gross, but I'm going to just try to open this without, oh my goodness. There we go. I just opened it without taking all the paper off because it was getting a little crazy. I have tape stuck all over me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Almost ripped my band-aid off. I'm going to see if I can't get Band-Aid to sponsor my videos. I seem to always be sporting them. All right, let's see what we can get out of here. Let's see if we can just dump the whole thing. How about that? Uh, nope. I'm thinking we're probably going to have a lot of earrings because, you know, they're tiny jars. But we'll see what we get. Okay. Oh. That's a sparkler. Um, okay. Alrighty. Uh-oh. Boy, they must have had it. There we go. That is gross. This must have been, what, a honey jar or something? I guess they were, had quite a to-do list. They couldn't actually wash the jar completely. Oh, well. Anyway, the things came out. So let's start with these little sparkly things. Um... I can't quite tell what these are. Oh, they think these are Christmas earrings. Well, where were you last uh, last month? In the jar, waiting for me to open you. Yes, I know. Okay, don't yell at me. People are watching. Putting my glasses on. All right, so we have these little little snowman earrings. Those are cute. They're very cute. I think what I'm going to do with these is pop them in. Uh, I have a couple of things that are Christmas themed. I have kind of sorted into a box from various boxes and what have you. I think I'm gonna put these in here unless somebody, you know, loves these and wants them. If you do, just send me an email. And to order, all you need to do is send me an email to amberfieldmousejewelry at gmail.com and tell me the items that you're interested in purchasing. Timestamp would be fantastic. Screenshot as well, I'm very visual. Um, I will give a price at some point, either during the video or I'll come back and give you prices after if there's anything that I'm, I'm not sure of and I need to look up. And I'll send you a PayPal invoice and we can go from there. All right, here we have a little silver toned necklace. As, let me see. This looks like it's just silver toned. I don't think this is sterling. And I have beat my hands up. I think I make an excuse and apology about my hands every single time. I just use my hands in, like, I'm in chemicals, cleaning things. So this is an old vintage necklace. It's cute. Um, these are faux pearls. Pretty sure. Let me see if I can. Yeah, they look like faux pearls. Where's our neck? 
We all know how good I am at putting things on the neck, so let's give that a spin. Oh, that's cute. That's a sweet little necklace. And if anybody wants this one, you can have it for $4. It's cute. Alrighty. What do we have next? Well, this is interesting, isn't it? This looks like somebody had some fun with crafts, I think. This looks like sterling. I have some AB. I think these are, they feel heavy. Yeah, they're glass. And mother of pearl shell. I'm not sure exactly what the belt buckle is because it's not a brooch. It is an old belt buckle. That is an interesting piece. Huh. Well, honestly, not sure what to say about that. I think that's probably going to go into my little uh, collection of oddities. But there it is. That's a pretty little, little leaf, isn't it? And these are very beautiful. These look like they're vintage. Probably all of this is. I wonder if this is sterling. Where is my magnet? I don't know where it is. I best find it, though, huh? I think I have. <laughs> These little tiny bead ones. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's a bunch of magnets. Well, that bottom ring is magnetic. This actually look, it looks like it's repelling the magnet. No, I guess not. Anyway... Is this magnetic? Huh, I'm gonna scratch it because I'm just curious. That I don't think is sterling. No, that's bronzy. Let's try this. This little chain is really pretty though. Look at it. I, know, I shouldn't be spending so much time on this because now that looks very sterling. Where to put my testing solution? There it is. Behind the 25 beverages I have up here. I have water, I have a soda, I have coffee. All I need is a glass of wine and it's complete. That would be an interesting video, wouldn't it? Wine makes me loopy. <laughs> yeah, that's sterling, that chain. Can you see the blue? Let me get the shine out of there. Yeah, that is sterling. Well, that's fun. Okay, I'm gonna put that over in the bucket. And then what do we have? We have a little Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse earring. We have the Minnie Mouse necklace with the last batch. Here's a pendant with a letter S on it. Um, this looks like it was part of an earring. It doesn't, I think here's the other part. Yeah, that one is missing a wire. Maybe it's in here, we'll see. Here is, whoop, I'm gonna drop. Uh-oh, ruh row. oh, that's interesting. That must be what? Um, belly button earring. It's very pretty. Somebody told me to be mindful of these because sometimes they are precious metal. That looks a little bit too, that looks a little bit too gold to be gold. And that stone is, is definitely not. But because people are so averse to touching them, <laughs> sometimes they get through. All right, here we have little silver tone hoops. I uh, don't believe these are sterling. Let me just give them a little, oops, sorry, bump one. Yeah, that's a coppery scratch. Let's see what we get there. Okay, this is a box chain. It does say something on it. What's it say? Sorry, Kathy, my sister said, said we can't read anything on there, Tina. And... And that one has lots of just various letters on it. Let me get my glasses. Let's see. This chair is driving me crazy because it keeps spinning on its own accord. Alrighty, I'm not seeing 925 on the glass, but let me look on this end real, real quick. I'm sorry to take everything out of your field of vision. Oh, that says Canada on it. It is not, it's not magnetic. Let me see what our scratch looks like. Well, this is a very silvery scratch to this end. Very silvery. Let's try this. This is substantial if it's, if it's sterling. 
let's see. Let's see, so these three, one, two, three, these are the two that I had scratched something else in. So these three closest two are, I like to do the, still, the, the metal testing. Um, leave me a comment and let me know. Do you like to see the metal testing? Do you think that's just something that should be done behind the scenes and it's boring? How do you feel about it? Yeah, that's sterling. Can you see that? That is sterling. So that's cool. Wow, that is pretty hefty. I'm surprised it's not marked. Um, I'm going to have to get back on this one. Maybe there's something in uh, the box. Uh, the box. I'm so accustomed to box in the jar. This is the first jar I've ever actually opened. I've gotten baggies. I've gotten boxes, but no jars. And traditionally, when this started, I believe it was from jewelry jars. Let me just take another look at this. It does say Canada on it, but... I want to see if it says 925, because that would make me feel a little bit more comfortable. I saw that, but maybe in Canada back when they, you know, that most assuredly says Canada on it, and the spring ring clasp says nothing, so I need to test that more, I'm not really sure, okay, we have a pretty little vintage clip on, oh, that's pretty, who is this by, this, oh, this is Crown Trafari, look at that, nice hope we get that one that's pretty a little gold this is uh, post back Oof. and that just has a little what does that say on it let me see if I can tell Can't really see that cartouche yet, but let's give it more attention if we, uh, I'm gonna keep this because it might actually have the stamp on it as well. It's a pretty little, uh, oh, I have never gotten a pair when there's a caged crystal. Not once. I get, I've gotten quite a few of them, never a pair. So we'll see. Well, that's a pretty little, I think this green might be a little too dark see anything. What do I have for contrast here? Let me grab a sheet of paper. Flip down a few in the, in the notepad on my chicken scratch. Let's see if this is going to help. Yeah, that, that helps a little. Well, we'll look more again. Uh, this is a pretty little one. Kind of worn, but you never know. You clean them up sometimes and they look much prettier so we don't have a match anyway oh this is nice Ew, some vertigree that will probably come off it doesn't look like it's eaten in that is pretty let's see what we get with that one let me kind of make a little bit of a organization here because i have a tendency to fling them and then i can never find anything i'm trying to find things and they're not there that's a little just a little silver tone not magnetic. Let's see what the scratch looks like. Hmm. Looks a little silk. Mm, it's a little bronzy. Yeah, no. That's just, uh, let's see if there's more because it's tiny. Oh, here's a little, little stick pin with a koala. Oh, is he cute? Oh, what is that in him? Oh, he's got like a little opal. And in his forehead, too. Oh, how pretty is that? Can you see that? Let me move it back and see. Oh, that doesn't help. Can you see the fire of that opal in there? That is very interesting. It's in an inlay. Excuse me one minute. I'm going to bring it over here and take a look and see what I can see. If there's anything noting manufacturer or anything on the back. That is just really, really cute. It's a little little doublet on there, covering over so that the inlay doesn't get damaged in any way. I really gotta find my better magnet. This one, this is silly. Yeah, the, the pin is magnetic. I'm, it's bobbling in the back. I wouldn't expect that to be. Um, I need to look into him though, because I really am not too familiar with stick pins. Oh, hey, 
It's the first time I've ever gotten a pair of these. How about that? My first pair. I'm so excited. These are pretty. Got the little rhinestone dangles on the top and then the little caged rhinestones. Let me just take a look at the gold tone and see how it's looking. Yeah, the gold tone is all intact. These are pretty. I like these. All right, so I'm going to price my first item. If anybody would like these. And I am going to say seven because apparently they're hard to find a pair of. <laughs> no, let's, let's bring that back down to five. I think five is a more appropriate number on that. Those are cute. I like them. All right, look on the bucket because they're paired. Um, it's a little, oh, drop my paper. Oh, look at that. That's a little, well, it's a porcelain wooden shoe. Isn't that pretty? What do we have here? Some yucks. I think we would have to clean that to read anything. But we'll put it over here, and if we get the other one, we'll look into it more. Uh, this is just a little, little very inexpensive ring. This is a costume. We'll put all these little rings together. If we get a batch of them, maybe we can batch them up or something. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that's pretty. Look at the little pewter flower. We have an oak leaf and a... I don't know what kind of leaf that is. That's really cute. Oh, that'd be nice to get the other one up. Does that say anything on it? No, but I love it. What a beautiful fall earring. Oh, looks like another Disney piece. Let's take this off and get rid of it. Can you see the inside? Ugh, just, just not. Just say no, people. A little Disney earring. Okay. What do we have here? We have a bracelet, a little Rolo bracelet. Let's take a look. Anything on the? Probably not. I look over here, out of the camera because I can't quite see in there all the time. Yeah, no, this is just silver tone. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> almost sucked it right through the right the magnet. Oh, no, <laughs> I made a new one, new bracelet with magnets on it. So this is just a very simple little Rolo chain bracelet. Um, let's see what size it is. No manufacturer or anything on it. Here's the little bracelet thing, my jigger. Seven and three quarters. It's cute. If anybody would like that one, you can have that one for three. Okay. Um, more costume rings. Where'd those go? Right here. Get that away from it. Oh, looks like we have a pair. Okay. Where is it? Okay. Oh, these are very pretty. These do look to be vintage. I'm not sure who that manufacturer is. It is neither written on the earring itself or on the backing. Looks like a little cartouche of some kind. These do appear to be to me, I think they're vintage because they're really about the time of, you know, Monet and all of those. Um, I would say if anybody would like these, the gold tone is in great shape. It really is. I'm just taking another peek. Yeah, those are very pretty. Um, you know what I would actually think I'm going to do? Because I can't really see these too well. I to see if the gold tone is off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna present them. There's not a whole lot of items here. And then I'm just gonna check them over before I put prices on anything. So let's just enjoy looking and see what we have. And then I'll come back with pricing on things. Some things I can price on the fly, other things no. All right, here we have the other one of that. Um, these are, I don't think these are really anything anybody would wanna purchase. They're kind of a mess unless they clean up. Oh. Look at those posts. No, those are just silver tone. Um, if anyone does want them, you can have them for a dollar, but they they look a little like some of the stones are. All the stones are there. It just looks like some of them are dead. Oh, one of them is dead. Yeah. 
Okay. And here we have oh, a little tiny earring. Oh, that looks like it's sterling. It sure does. Let me see the back. Yeah, this is 925. It does have a little cartouche there. Can you see that little cartouche next to the 925? I'm really not sure. But we'll put that one here. Now, oh, this is the match to the other. And was this one magnet? Yeah, that one's separate. To the magnet. So those are there. This is another costume ring. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that little earring. Look at the sparkly in that green rhinestone. It's got a lot of dimension in that. Little tiger's eye. These are plastic. I don't see a maker on this, but we'll see if we get another. Oh, this is hair jewelry. You kind of spin these into your hair. That's pretty. Oh, we did get the match on this. That is so cute. I love this ear. Mm, got these things on them. Throw it away. Throw it away, throw it away, throw it away. Oh, I love these. I love these very much. Oh, bonk, 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 bonk a meter. Those are sweet. Look at those. I love these little, the flower with the tiny little brass flower hanging on, little little brass bead. What a beautiful leaf that is. It's really nicely made. What kind of leaf would you call that? Any botanist in the, in the audience? These are very pretty. I think I tested to see if these are magnetic. I'm 100% certain they will be. Well, that's magnetic. This is probably just some sort of bronze. I don't think these are sterling in any way, shape, or form, but they're gorgeous. These are really pretty. All right, let me put those over there. Okay, we have this one. There is the match on this. Those are very pretty. Okay. And, oh, look at little angel. And this is, that is mother of pearl. It feels cold. Yeah, that's not plastic. That's mother of pearl. Let me turn this on so we can do some testing of that nature because that's sometimes helpful. That is a really pretty little pin. Probably Avon. No, not Avon. What does it say on the pin part? Anything? Let me see. I don't see anything right now on the pin part, but that's the back of her. She's in great shape. She's a little different than the ones you normally see. Yeah, I don't see anything on there. But she's cute. Look at that little pin. Aw. Very pretty. Okay. I'm looking at this. Oh, God, I love these types of beads. I just think they're so pretty. What exactly is going on with that? Hmm. Oh, well, that's a wonky cross that's lost something i don't know so um all you beaters out there what does this bead do it uh looks like a cap maybe but it's on the ring which is strange perhaps something well here here's this does that go with it do we have parts on this these are these those are different beads. They're different shapes. These are bicones. Let's see. There's another of that type. All right. So here's... No. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. We've got... Anything else? That's it. whole earring on its own. I don't think there's any more of that. Okay. So this pair and this pair, which are beautiful. These are really pretty. Yeah, those are beautiful. These, I believe, are glass. Let me just double check that they're not plastic because my hands are cold. And that one might be plastic, but I think these are glass. Okay. Cannot see. Yeah, these are glass. 
and these are, these feel plastic. What are you? These are glass. So this is, this is bizarre. All right, so these, we have this little tassel and this, this part. So I think these are just bits and bobs that were in there. So there they go. This pair of earrings, though, is really pretty. I love these. Very elegant looking. Good job by a... I don't know if these were done by a crafter or they're manufactured. I always think manufactured when I see the gunmetal. Very pretty. I like those. Okay. Alrighty. Um... Alright, what do we have? Oof, that is filthy. Yuckos. Stuck. Alright, so here is this little... Let me say, how does this work? Okay, there we go. So there's, looks like there's four pieces of this silver tone. Hang down. And let me see if I can get the other one off this. I'll leave that there for you to look at. Well, I untangle this little bead ball necklace from the other earring. This bead ball necklace. I wonder if it's going to come clean. I think it's just a little costume. I don't know. Yeah. We'll look at that in a second. I don't know. We got that sterling necklace. And if that turns out to be sterling... I paid twelve dollars a jar. I paid for both of them. That's a, that's heavy. It's got a lot of sterling in it. Okay, so there's these little wind chimes to your head. Okay. Uh, well, that's very Mayan, very pretty. A little discoloration there. I wonder what that's about. And that says Mexico on the back. This is probably alpaca. Oof. Look at this poor wire. Easy to get back into shape, though. Or to pop another one, and I wonder if that will come off with that discoloration. Is Where's my polishing cloth? Oh, there's one, but I don't want to use it because it's brand new, and I keep grabbing new ones because I'm goofy. Well, I'm not sure where I popped it. We'll check that later if we get the other. Okay. Ooh, look at the little jelly belly kitty. Somebody put her eye out. I can put a new eye in there, no problem. Looks like there's a little something going on. Yeah, somebody did a really bad, bad repair job on that. That's a shame. Aw. She's cute, though. Little jelly belly kitty. All right, well, that's too bad. Okay, here we have a margarita. New maker on here. I'll see if I can get this chain clean. The, the pendant's not too bad, but, I mean, it's just costume. I don't know if it's worth time if anybody's interested in that, but. I'll just say this is uh, a dollar if anybody wants it. All right. It's a cute earring. Almost dropped it. And little chains. That's very pretty. Look at that. I like it. We have the other? We do, right here. We do, we do. It's actually nicely constructed. This is not tinny or anything. It's, it's very nice. Those are pretty. I like them. There's, here it is. There it is. Those hang nicely. And clean those up and see what they're like. Okay. Well, we're getting a few pairs of earrings. That's a nice thing. Here is a little. Oh, this is sterling. Oh, wow. I bet they didn't think it was, or maybe it's not. Maybe it isn't. I can't believe they put it in a $12 jewelry jar. That, oh, because this... Well, oof. <laughs> we almost had a catastrophe going on there. Yeah, that is not... Um, 
not magnetic. Well, let's take a peek. Definitely. Oh, it's a very silvery looking scratch. Let's try the, the links. And let's test it. Well, kind of ate it, but let me see if I got down far enough. Sometimes there's like patina and whatnot. Okay, that's a little better. It's a little coppery. Maybe that's why it's in here. And yeah, these are a little coppery. I don't think these are sterling. Yeah, they they told it what sterling was and said maybe one day when it grows up it can be sterling if it eats its spinach, but it is not sterling. It does have sterling coating. Can you see the little sterling bits floating? That's about as sterling as it is. So I'll clean it up, see what it's about. I mean, it's still a nice little bracelet. All right, let's get back. Um, looks like we have another little sterling earring to match this one. So those are cute. Did we test that one? I can't remember. I don't think we did. Well, that, oh, it's not magnetic. I scooped it. I imagine that these are sterling. I'll test them and when I look at everything and let you know. These are bizarre. I wonder what these are made out of. I wonder if they'll come clean. They're interesting. Missing a rhinestone there. Hmm. Well, we'll see if those clean up. I don't know. That is strange. Almost looks like nickel. Okay. There's those. What else do we have? Oh, look at this old cross. Man, that's an oldie. That's cute. Here's the other one right here. That's a cute little pair. They're very tinny. Cute ones, though. Alrighty. And we have a little ghosty. He fell off. He lost his jump ring. A little charm. Uh, a wing. And we have the other. Any Harley babes out there? Nice little pair of earrings. I don't see any markings on them. These are not Harley um, signed. But they're cute. Okay, I'll bring those back with pricing. And... Then we have this little silver tone. That's a cutie. We have that one. Yep, well, I guess they matched up some pairs on this before they dumped them in. And that's what looks like a sterling hook, is it? I don't know. That, I don't think it's sterling. Down here. Mm, maybe. We'll test them and see. Okay, cute. <laughs> That's hysterical. Oh my gosh, look at that. Sexy. Yep. I got a hang tag. Well, if I can keep it in my hand, it's got a hang tag. Oh, Victoria's Secret, I bet. Yeah, the sexy line. This is a mess. It's an absolute mess. Oh my goodness. I'm going to clean it up, see what it looks like. That's too funny. Sexy. I'll put that over the, the singles bar for the earrings. <laughs> Here we have a little pendant. That's cute. Seems to have all of its rhinestones. A very pretty little one. I like those hearts. Uh, don't see any marks. Oh, it's got a little, little tone loss on the back. All right. Here is a little crafter's piece. Acrylic beads. They're actually kind of cute. And here we have a little butterfly pendant. Okay, this is interesting. Hmm. I wonder if this is plastic or if it's bone. I, I can't quite tell. Hmm. Well, let me see if it, I know, I know it's not gonna register as yeah, I don't think that this is plastic. I think this is bone. 
Because you see how the proscenium is moving out? Plastic doesn't even nudge it. Let's see if we can find any of those striations. Yeah, there's some. That is pretty cool on the inside. I think that might be tool marks, though. Those are, like, the striations. You know what I'm talking about? How cut bone has, like, um, like little channels in it. Yeah, see, well, that's tool marks. This is interesting. I want to say this is bone. It's pretty cool. I mean, just as a sampling. I don't know that it's the most spectacular, spectacularly beautiful ring in the world, but it's pretty interesting. If you're a jewelry collector and like to have different, uh, yeah, that is wild. That only was carved. Yep, that was carved out. Hmm. How about that? I wonder what this darkening is here. You see that? Or maybe it's some other... It's not shell. It's not shell. Um, it could be bone. I think... I, I, I would venture to guess it's bone. Very interesting. Okay, here we have another little silver tone chain. No, oh, actually, we don't have a silver tone chain. This feels this feels like sterling. Let's see, a little tiny vintage jump ring. What do we got there? Yep, nine two five. Italy, very nice. I didn't see Malora on there, but I did see Italy. Italy. Italy, 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 fingernail. <laughs> um, that is a low cartouche. Let's see if I have time to look that up when I bring everything back. Uh, another little, this is, yeah, that's another one of those little cheapy rings. Oh, we got the other crown. Oh, nice. We got the other crown trafari. Very nice. And as you know, crown trafari is um, much more sought off, sought after than just regular vintage trafari. Those are very pretty. Very pretty earrings. Look at those. Very elegant. Just a little simple gold bead and pearl. I've tried to wear clip-ons. Um, some I can. Some um, I cannot. How about you? Do you like clip-on? Oh, there's a little elf charm. That's so cute. Here's the little, here's the little ghost. I'll put them together. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is cute. Is this a bracelet? Okay, caught there. Oh, that's a little necklace. Oh, this is cute. Oh, we got a got a tangle over here. Huh. There we go. How fun is this? Very fun little necklace. We'll turn it around so you can actually see the correct side. Aw. It's a little girl necklace. Very sweet. It's in great shape, though. I can see a, a teen or... If, this is something that, like, 25-year-old girls wear sometimes, too. You know, they they just get very funky wearing things like this. And my daughter Megan and her friends would just wear whatever made them happy which I thought was wonderful. Alrighty, and then we have this beautiful piece, which is, huh, I'll move this out of the way. And that is interesting. Okay, so, that is a very pretty stone. Look at that. They're old. Let's see if they're what they are. 
glass. Oop, slippery. Slip sliding away. Glass. This is an interesting clip, isn't it? That's kind of cool. And it's not like, maybe it's just a deformed um, safety pin and I'm getting all excited. Look at that, it's so cool. Um, are we magnetic? No. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see if we're silver. Very silvery scratch. Not immediately silver. Let me try getting down in a little bit. Dig deep, Tina, dig deep, because this piece is not something that's salvageable. It would be just scrap. Oh, yeah. It's sterling. Do you see the blue popping up there? It's screaming sterling. Well, that's interesting. I'm surprised they put that in there and didn't put it in their scrap pile. I wonder what exactly that was. Probably a piece of earring. Hmm. All right. Well, there's that. And what else do we have? We have a little, a little lotus flower necklace. Oh, not a necklace. Oh, you know what this is? You wear it on your foot. Um, this goes around your ankle and this goes over your toe. That's cute. I didn't think about whose toe that was on, but. Oh, yeah. Well, the spring ring is magnetic. I wonder. Just the spring rings. I don't think it's sterling. No, and it's lost a lot of color. Interesting piece, though. If you're not familiar with these, they're very uh, Bollywood, very boho. And I can't get my finger in there to illustrate, but it basically goes on the top of your foot. And this one goes down over one of your toes. So this would be on the top of your foot. This would be around your ankle. It's cute. And no big shock that this part gets worn because you're probably trotting on it. Okay. Here we have a little, little piece of faux pearls and gold chain. Okay. Oh, this is the other one of those earrings, unless I threw it over there. Maybe I did. Hmm. Oh, no, here it is. These are cute. Then we have pearls. Oh, yep. caught this pretty necklace. This is a necktie necklace. That's cute. What is it intact? I'm not sure. I think that part might be a little, let me see. I'm not sure. Part may be a little compromised. That is cute. Let's take a peek. That is, uh, yeah, this thing looks like it's like two seconds from spilling pearls everywhere. That's pretty on the end, though. All right, so I'm gonna put that over here. And then we have a couple more pieces. These are some koi fish. That is cute. And a hoop earring. I don't know if we got this one or not. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, we did. It's right here. It's over on the side. Here's a hoop. These are pretty. They're just silver tone. I'm kind of sick of sterling silver hoops and not sterling silver. I don't never be sick of sterling silver, but I'm kind of sick of silver. Another little piece of hair jewelry. So we have a pink and a green. And this is beautiful. Look at this. Let me get the neck for this one. Yep, oh, picked up a hitchhiker here. Oh, I think this is, um, there you go. There it is. Yeah, so we have these two. These are Mexico. Um, I think these are alpaca. My hands are filthy already. I don't know what that discoloration is, but I will check, take a check and see if I can't get that off or it may just be like plating most lost but they are pretty they're mayan i like them 
Okay, so let's put those over there. Um, little pewter butterfly. Oh, that's pretty. I don't think we got that one. That's a bummer. It's really cute. Really cute little pewter butterfly. Alrighty. And then the other... I thought we had this pair already because I pulled them over. No more... No more butterfly? Okay, no butterfly, but we have this one necklace left. And then I'm going to take a little break, throw a lasagna that I made earlier into the oven so that it can be ready when Jeff gets home. He went to hang with his friend, friend Puddin. <laughs> his friend's name was not Puddin until I met him. Um, he lives on a road called Puddin Ridge Road, and I just could not help myself, and he has forever been dubbed Puddin. So... That is beautiful. Look at that pretty flower. I've got the crystals. These are, are these plastic or glass? Let me see. These are glass. Yeah, those are glass. This is very pretty. Very smooth. Caught. Help. 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 <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, it does have a manufacturer on it, too. It is, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, Leah Sophia, no one, no wonder. Very pretty piece. It's in great shape, no color loss at all. This is gorgeous. Okay, so let's just go through a little pricing here. Um, I popped a bunch of these earrings on the neck form so that we could kind of have them all to look at here. Um, these were made by a crafter. I think they're very pretty. I love that color combination. If anybody would like these, you can have those for two. They're really pretty. Um, these are very nice. They're substantial earrings. They cleaned up beautifully. The chains are all in good shape. They're a very nice silver tone. Um, if anybody would like to have those, I don't know who the manufacturer is on them, but they are nicely made. They're not a cheap mall brand. Um, you can have these for eight. These uh, wings, these are very popular. Um, these will sell quick and easy for me um, if I list them. But if anybody would like them here, you can have them for five. These little uh, crosses, they shined up really pretty. I shined one of them. Oh, this is not working out too well. They're falling. Anyway, um, they're, they're tinny, but they're very nostalgic. You know, they're, they're old earrings. These were probably in the, I don't know, 70s. But if anyone would like those, you can have them for four. These are gorgeous. I absolutely love these earrings. Um, that oak leaf is stunning. All of the little little parts and pieces of these earrings are beautiful. Um, if you'd like those, you can have those for nine. These are pretty. These are little glass cabochons on here. Hope they're coming into focus. The, that green rhinestone at the top in great shape. And let me do this. Let me uh, give you some size comparison here. I didn't do that on any of these. Um, but before I do that, let me just give you the price on here. Um, these I'll do for seven. And these beautiful earrings, I think those are the last pair that I didn't get to. And these are very well made. These are designer. I don't know who they're designed by. Let me move this so perhaps this may focus for me. Okay. There is a designer brand on there. Um, I can't see it, but the gold tone is in beautiful condition. These are really, really, really nice earrings. Um, you can have these for, let's say, 10 on these. Since I don't know who the designer is, but they're really pretty. These are very classy earrings. I love them. Very, very nice. And these, let me get the little measuring tape out here so we can get an idea of size on these. Should have done that before. I guess I didn't think this out too well, putting them on the form. But these are about a little more than half an inch long on those. These are going to drop. It's going to be quite a long earring. These have a, let's see that three inches, and that's the wire on the top. And those are pretty. Let's look at the wings. About, I think it's about an inch and a half long itself. A little bit more with the ear wire. These are so, gosh, I love these. These are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. A little over an inch. I want to see those again. They're so pretty. So very pretty. Hi, my band-aid. 
Okay, these cuties. Something special about when people make things. I don't know. I just... I love them. They're very pretty. Love that color. Okay. Little crosses are so cute. Oh, I didn't tell you how long those dangles were. Boy, oh boy, I'm, I'm not on my game. That's about two inches on that. These are sweet. They're really sweet. Okay. And then we have these danglers which dangle they're about an inch and a half long they're cute very cute all right so um the alpaca i could not get that yellow to come off so you can kind of see it when you tilt it i polished it a bit and it was starting to come off um if anybody would like these all uh, you can have them for two you can probably work that and get it off but in the time that I had, I did not. Um, it did lessen quite a bit. All right, we have some silver tone hoops, and these are about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. If anybody would like these, they're in great shape. Have that little, whoop, have that little braiding on them. You can have those for three, perfect condition. Um, this one, these have a broken ear wire on them, so um, I'm gonna throw these in crafter. I don't know what I did with the other one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'll put it up here in the, in the we don't match anything or craft pile. Okay. These little silver tones are cute. They're, they're just, uh, you know, they're fashion. If anybody wants these, you can have them for a dollar. Um, let me show you what they look like because I'm just assuming you remember. And they're probably like an inch. Okay. <laughs> this sexy bracelet I'm going to keep and maybe make part of the display. It didn't clean up well. Um, it's still got a lot of a lot of tarnishing. I polished it a bit, but I want to keep it. I want to put it, make it part of uh, my little curiosity display. I think it's funny. All right, there's that. Okay, these earrings, I believe, are... I looked them up. I believe that these are unmarked Liz Claiborne's. They're glass. This is like French Jet. They're beautiful. Um, I saw similar earrings online going for about 15. So I would be happy to take 10 for these. Very beautiful. That sparkle. They are glass. Gorgeous earrings. And let me put them on here so you can see them because you got to see the others. But not these really. Oh, come on now. They're really pretty. I think the long one goes in the center. And fashion correctly. They're just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And they're about, let's see, where's my ruler? And about two inches from the, you know, where they go in your ear. Very pretty. I love these. Really do. Okay, the uh, Crown Trafari. I looked these up between videos. Let me move this so this will focus. Nothing worse than an unfocused video. It gives me a little motion sickness, so I hope I didn't do that to you. Um, I saw these exact same pair on various um, marketplaces online. The lowest price I saw them sell for was 18 highest was 25 I will be happy for to take 15 for these if anybody would like these. These are Crown Trafari. Wow, my focus is just shot. So there they are. They're very pretty. And these are just, you know, they're tiny. They're not tiny, but they're not going to overwhelm your ear for sure. They are going to hang like half an inch. Okay. All right, this little pretty angel pin. She's sweet. Uh, that is Mother of Pearl. She's in beautiful shape. Little tack pin. If anybody would like her with her little green stone, you can have her for five. As well as the uh, koala bear. Um, he's got the inlay, which looks like opal. You know what? I'm going to stop this video and restart it. I think that's going to fix the focus issue. Be right back. Okay, yeah, that did fix our focus, focusing issue. Little koala. He's got the inlaid uh, opalite glass on there with the doublet of the epoxy on there. 
He's very cute. That's the back, a little stick pin. If anybody would like him, you can have him for five. He's adorable. Okay. Have these two little pendants. Have the S pendant. If anybody would like that one, you can have that for two. And this one as well, you can have for two. I would have charged more, but this one does have a little bit of um, color lush just on the very back right there. But it's still very pretty. A lot of life left in it. Okay. Uh, this necklace, which is adorable. Let me see. Do I have it backwards? Yep. Backwards. This is sweet for a... Hmm. Come on now. Well, you get the gist. You know, for a preteen. And it's in perfect, perfect, perfect condition. Um, this one, if anybody would like it. You see, there's absolutely no color loss. And it's nicely made. You know, as for children's jewelry go, you can have this one for five. I think it's definitely worth it. Okay, there we go on that one. All right, these earrings, um, again, there's an ear wire missing. But if anybody does want them, I can definitely put an ear wire on them. And you can have these for three. They're pretty. Look like vines. I like the way they hang. Now they kind of cross over like that. I can definitely replace the ear wires with no problem whatsoever. All right, and then we have the um, ankle bracelet that went down with the lotus flower and comes down. There is no color loss except for where it goes around your toe. I did throw this through the ultrasonic cleaner, by the way, so it is all clean and sanitized. Um, my fingers, however, are just not. So it's very pretty. It's almost a little bit like an antique gold on here. It's very pretty. I, I just want to make sure I offered this to you. To you, this piece to you because you know it's something different and I think that's that's just a lot of fun for an ankle bracelet if anybody would like this one you can have it for four I think it's worth it it's so cute all right jelly belly pin I'm gonna hang on to I've been wanting to play with some uh, restoration and I'm gonna try it on this one I don't know if there's anything that can be done but he's a cutie he needs a new eye and this, I don't know. Um, I'm going to look into it a little bit more to see if perhaps it was a plating issue. I don't think so because I did scratch pretty deep. It is the one that's marked 925 that is not 925. So I'm just going to throw that in the bin. These parts and pieces over here are mismatched or broken or what have you. And then we have the Leah Sophia. Um, this is a really pretty Leah Sophia. It's in absolutely pristine condition. It is that light blue with the with the spring green on here. This is a very spring summer necklace. Uh, Leah Sophia, if you're not familiar, makes quality jewelry, made quality jewelry. She did home parties. She, the company, did home parties. Um, it may have been a she. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. And this one is a about an eight inch drop. You could have a little bit longer with an extension if you wanted. And these. I went and looked at her pieces online and the sold prices on these. And for this piece, I am completely comfortable asking 12 Because that's less than, you know, they're going for online. I would like to give you a price break here because you're so awesome to hang with me and watch videos. It's fun. Oh, look, I got testing acid on there. Ruined it. Ooh. Alrighty. And these... Um, I'm so sorry, but you can't have the bonus hair. That those I I keep all the hairs. Those are for my personal hair collection. Yeah. Okay, so these are the ear chimes. <laughs> oh my gracious! Okay, aren't those pretty? They're in perfect condition. I don't know who made them. They're very nicely made. Not too heavy. If anybody would like these, you can have them for five. They're, they seem to be brand new. All right. And then lastly, the bone ring. I'm keeping it because um, I want to I study it a little bit more. And I don't think anybody's going to jump and biting at the, you know. Oh, my 
goodness, my hands are destroyed biting. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the heck I was going to say. Nobody's really going to be that interested in it, I don't think. So I'm just going to keep it in my collection of different um, mediums that are used to make jewelry and see what I can learn about it. It is cold now, so definitely, I think that's definitely bone. Very cool. All right, so that is our first jar. I um, hope that you enjoyed it. We're going to do the second jar in the next video. I want to take a sneak peek at what's in here. A lot of, a lot of silver tone in there. Ooh, kitty cat. And we have a little, looks like a plastic cabochon of faux turquoise. Some rings. Silver earrings. Sand dollar. All right. Well, till next time. Again, I want to thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you had a great time. My name is Tina, again, in case I didn't say it previously five times. Um, if you want to order anything that you've seen in this video, please email me at amberfieldmousejewelry at gmail.com. Please give me the timestamp for the piece that you were looking at, the price I gave you. If you want to take a screenshot, that would be most helpful. I'm extremely visual. If there's anything here that I didn't put a price on for one reason or another and you're interested, um, I don't really see it too much there that that might be, um, but feel free to get in touch. And yeah, I will get you your items. Just send me an email. I do PayPal invoicing. Should anybody need an alternate payment method, I'd be happy to work with you on that as well. But till next time, this is Tina with Amberfield Mouse Jewelry. Hope you have a great week and see you soon. Bye-bye.